Okay. Hello, everyone. This is PJ2209, and we are here with, um, fucking Max's Big Bust. Yes. So, what do we have here? Forgot what kind of voice I did for him. So, what do we have here? I was just about to hand things over to the herders on the night shift. Look who we caught. Uh... Where, where'd the fox girls go? You tracked down that criminal Holly and Abba have been chasing all day. That's amazing. Well, did you find them? Don't ask. I'll take them downstairs and chuck this dot bag in a spy cage. So, thanks for doing the extra mile and hunting down these guys outside your normal work hours. I buy you all an avocado pizza, uh, av uh, anchovy pizza as well as uh, thanks, Amanda. Please don't bother. Please, please don't bother. Nobody wants that. Before you go, there's something that's troubling us. I fired my gun at this guy, but even though it was set to the lowest setting, it left off a ridiculously big discharge of energy. It wasn't a lethal bass, but it was really close. Lucky this guy's heart didn't stop. That's strange. He's supposed to be a limiter that regulates the energy levels. Mind if I take a look at it? <laughs> Points it at his face. Sure, no problem. I read that the arch nemesis has a ton. Oh, I didn't realize his face changed. Turn off the laser sight. Whoops, I forgot we weren't meant to use that near Captain Nekarai. Huh? Where are we? Alright. Um, everything with the gun seems to be in all the settings are collected. Max, leave your gun with me. I'll let the team take a look over and examine its logs to see if you've gone a faulty unit. This is no equipment, so there's bound to be a few small hiccups here and there. Yeah, except this small hiccup nearly electrocuted a guy. Well, it nearly electrocuted the entire restaurant. I'll get this started. Go get some last. You've earned it. Thanks, thanks, Captain Necrai. Come on, buddy. Let's get you home. Well, that was exhausting. I'm so glad those fox ears weren't permanent. My head still feels all itchy. And don't get me started on that tail. I think I might just have a shower and go to bed. It's been a long day. And then I get to do my phone. Yep. <sighs> Ooh, I should check my phone first. Um. Heartbeats. Buddies, neutral. Colleagues, neutral. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's how you. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Games. Jojo! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Actually, I think I realized. I think the sound is broadcasting through my mic. Let's check. Oh, he's tired. Oh, he's not tired. Let's give you a little nice wash. I'm gonna duel you. Dun, 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 dun. Oof. Yay! Duel again. Oh, with energy. No. Yay! Okay, uh, I don't want you to get too tired. Go on ahead and rest. I don't care about that. Alright! I don't think I should call anyone right now. I've got enough to do. That, that, that. That, 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 that. Ugh. I forgot I had to cut my hair again. Am I really going to have to go through this routine of cutting my hair off every morning while I'm stuck like this? It's a massive pain in the arse. 
I don't know if I can be bothered. Well, hell, I'd probably be better off just leaving it. It looks cuter when it's longer anyway. Ah! What the hell am I saying? I don't want to look cute. That's not the look I'm going for at all. I am a manly woman. I am a manly man, I meant. This is getting a bit out of hand, though. I've already filled up, like, five garbage bags with my hair now. Seriously, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I'm running out of space here. It's not garbage day until next week. I wonder if I can cram more hair in this bag. That that that. Huh? As I opened the bag of hair, I noticed something incredibly odd. Rather than being stuffed with to the brim with hair, the garbage cans were full of strange glittery substances that sparkled in the sunlight. There was something surreal about them, and I couldn't help but find myself fascinated by its shimmering beauty. I'd never seen something like this before in my life. In my fucking life. What is this? I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Ah. What is this stuff? Did my discard hair turn into this? That's odd. All the other bags are like this too. I need to show this to Victoria. I was a bit of a hassle bun uh, bundling up all the bags of hair into my car, but I couldn't see out my side window on the other way on the way to work because of it. But I wasn't worried. I was a police officer who was going to, who was going to arrest me myself. Once I got to work, I headed straight to the lab. Hey, girl, Max, what's up? Oh, um, I kind of want to do kind of like a Russian girl, but I don't know how to do that. I've got some weird news. You know how my hair magically grows back throughout the day and after I cut it? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Well, I've been keeping my spare hair in these garbage bags in my kitchen, and I went to look in them this morning, and all of my old hair has turned to glitter. What? No, it didn't. Silly. Oh, silly, Max. No, it didn't. I like that voice. That voice is pretty cool. I'm not lying. Look in the back. Huh. So, you're sure this used to be your hair? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. That's weird, to say the least. Yeah, it is pretty weird. So your hair magically grows back, but if you cut it off, it turns into this weird sparkly stuff. I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere, when finding, finding you a way to change back, this happens. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Wrong person. Try not to stress too much. I'll do some research and make a few phone calls and see what I can come up with. It's so shiny. Oh, yes. It is very much shiny. Let me know when, when if you make pr any progress. I had no idea what the hell was going on anymore. <laughs> it's just that. Oh, I forgot about her. Good morning, Max! Oh, yeah! You're not going to start calling me by that nickname, too, are you? What? Did she just say Max? Oh, good morning, girl, Max. It has a nice ring to it. I heard something troubling about last night. Max, apparently you fired your gun at its lowest setting, but it discharged an almost lethal blast. Yeah, 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 it was really strange. I didn't do anything differently than normal either. I just started acting crazy all of a sudden. It scared the crap out of me. Is there any reason the gun could have been acting differently? Did you tinker with it or immerse it in water prior to firing it? Um, I don't think I did anything differently. How strange. Would you mind if I had a look at your gun? I know a bit about firearms, so maybe I can help find out what's wrong with it. Sure, I guess. I wonder why it fired that way. The way it did, though. Maybe it's because I had fox ears. I doubt being dressed up as a fox girl had anything to do with it, though. But maybe it messed with the DNA recognition system. Fox ears? Crap. Oh, I did those voices wrong. You were dressed up as a fox girl? What? 
What? That's the cutest thing I've ever heard! Ah, uh, no it wasn't. No, I wasn't. Why did you tell me earlier? You would have looked incredibly cute with a cute little fox tail. I can't believe I missed it. Tell me, there's pictures. I need to see pictures. There's no pictures? No! <laughs> Why didn't you call me? You know I love dressing you up in cute little outfits and a fox girl costume would have been incredible. I should arrest you right now for this travesty. Now letting me take part in such an amazing experience is a criminal act by in, in itself. Did you want to have a look at my gun or not? I want to see Fox Girl Max. Oh, she's not coming back, so tough luck. Aw, meanie. So where's your gun, Girl Max? I handed it to Captain Nectar last night. It's probably still in his office. I'll have a look at it right away. It's Max. <laughs> And Max? Yeah? Make sure you call me next time you dress up as a fox girl. I'll be angry if you do it again without me. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Oof. Mm hmm. There was something seriously wrong with that girl. What's up with all the screaming today? You've been here five minutes and Holly is already having an emotional breakdown over your cuteness. Uh, I seem to remind. I seem to remember you had quite a few screaming fans of your own last night, Bonnie. Hey, don't say that name out loud. Nobody can know about that. So, what's the captain got organized for us today? Are we interrogating that suspect or chasing down more leads to shut down the illegal minks operation? We're on desk duty today. What? Why weren't we interrogating the minks dealer we brought in last night? We should be leaving the paperwork for the regular police officers. We're the special investigation unit for crying out loud. Jay is still unconscious thanks to your little incident last night, and with the budget cuts, everyone has to pull their weight around here. Plus, special investigation is 50% de desk work. Comes with the territory. That's stupid. Hey, I'm not happy about it either. I don't want to spend my entire day filling out forms and ticking little checkbox, but there isn't anything I can do about it. Well, this sucks. Ooh. Someone seems grumpy today. Someone seems grumpy today. I feel like my voice needs to be a little mysterious and sound like a fucking... I suck at making voices. Someone seems grumpy today. Max has always been... Max has always been impatient and irradible. Irradible. Ir yes? Even before she turned into a girl. Of course I'm cross. I have to do boring desk work all morning. Looking for something to do? I'm about to go on patrol, but Holly's busy right now. You can take along with me if you'd like. Take her with you. She'll just sit here complain all morning if she has to do paperwork. I won't get any of my own work done. What do you say, Max? Want to come with me? Oh, fuck yeah, I do! I'll do anything to get out of paperwork. I'll do anything to get out of paperwork. Let's roll! Oh, I got a friend level. I think she's a person you could woo into, like, a relationship, so I think I might do that. I thought you might say that. So what are we doing now, downtown? few police officers had their stun gun stolen two, two nights ago, and we've been trying to track them down since. Thankfully, they won't fire unless an authorized user holds them, but we'd still like to get them back. Yeah, I saw the invoice from the tech company. Those guns are really, really expensive. There's a pawn shop near here. That's been known to sell hot items, so the two of us are going to pay the operator here a little visit. I've got a feeling that he won't be too happy to see us. Ooh, this sounds like fun. Well, here we are. This place looks kinda seedy. Of 
course it does. It's a piece of crap establishment run by a pervy fuckwad. Speaking of which... Amber, my favorite police officer. How are you and Jiggly Ass doing today? Mike? Yeah, Tits? Shut the fuck up. Mike can't help it. If he likes what he sees... Hey, who's your cute friend? She's got some real va-va-boom. I'd like to take out, take her out back sometime for some quality time. I'm a fucking idiot that can't read. He is a pervy fuckwad. Oi. Oi. Or. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oi. What's this over here, mate? This shotgun on display looks an awful lot like police property. Oh, this thing? It's a replica, babe. Look at that pink tip. It's just a shining collector's item. Really? Is it now? You can trust Mikey, babe. A gun not brought that thing in just the other day, but it's not a police we weapon. It doesn't even fire. Show me that gun. I tried pulling the trigger, but it's just a replica. I'm allowing you to sell replica guns. It's totally legal. You know me, Amber. I don't sell hot stuff here. Just give me the gun. Fine, take the damn thing. Max, hold this for me. Like this? Perfect. See, the thing doesn't fire. It's not a stolen police property. As much as I love to see you and your amazing figure in my store, uh, Amanda, you've just been wasting your time here. This pink tip you keep talking about? It's just nail polish. It's peeling off under my fingernail. You know how to keep how you keep saying this gun doesn't work. That's because all police weapons have a DNA scanner. So only authorized users because users can fire it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't you? Nope, that gun is just a load of junk. You've done nothing wrong. Max, pull the trigger. Oh fuck. Sure. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh fuck! You're under arrest, Mike. My spine. Thanks for helping me out, Max. I hate going into that store alone. That guy gives me the creeps. Don't mention it. Shooting people is fun. What? <laughs> I knew that gun was real, and the genetic lock proved it. Mike is full of shit. Now he's got a date with the judge to look forward to. Wait a minute. Genetic clock? I need to check something real quick. Victoria! I just forgot. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? I just realized something. There's no need to yell, Max. Yes, there is. You know how I turned into a girl the other day? I think we're all aware of that by now, Max. Well, my genetics must have changed when I turned into a girl, right? That's why I look so different and I got jiggly boobies and wider hips and stuff. Yeah, but we already know this. That's the thing, though. If my genetics changed, then why does my gun still work? It means to it, it's meant to be scanning my DNA, but my genetic profile thim, thingamaboob won't be on the Action City Pro Police database. My gun shouldn't fire at all, but it totally does. That's a ga that's a damn good point. I didn't I didn't believe I didn't it did, that didn't occur to me. I forgot your fuck voice. God damn it. That's weird. It is weird. Okay. Let's, okay, let's think through this before jumping to any wild conclusions. Ah! It's true that your firearm scans your DNA and checks for a match. And it does this by obtaining a few DNA samples by several lotic on your genome. It also checks for a pulse to make sure some criminal hasn't cut off your hand and using it to fire your weapon. 
But that's not relevant. Because your hand isn't cut off. And yeah, that sounds painful. That, that sounds painful. Assuming the sex change didn't change all of your genes, then your Loki might not necessarily change position. Meaning your gun would still work. That being said, one of those Loki is on your sex chromosomes. And they would have definitely changed. Unless there's something wrong with the recognition program, then your gun shouldn't be firing. Give me a second to look this up. This is good thinking on your part, Max. Thanks! Who knows, maybe we can use this information to find out a way to change me back to normal. Don't get your hopes up. Because you're not turning back anytime soon. Da 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 Okay, okay, girl, Max. I've got some results for you. Did some of my genes not change when I had my gender flipped, or did the gun broken? That's where things get complicated. According to your John Gun's logs, your genetics haven't changed in the slightest. Still recognizing you as the same user, and you still have the exact same genetic profile as your male self. I loaded up your DNA sample from earlier, and it and interestingly, it turns out that you're still genetically male. That strange artifact you found didn't change your genes at all. On top of that, your DNA is resisting any type of modification altering. A single gene triggers a change in a few cells at first, but your immune system shuts it down and reverts any changes almost immense immediately. It's really strange, and as far as I'm aware, you're the first person that has ever been seen in. I'm completely stumped. This has ever been seen in. I'm completely stumped. And that's if you ignore the whole craziness with your magically regoing hair. So, so if my genes are exactly the same, then why am I a girl? I don't know. Magic, maybe? Fantastic analysis, Victoria. This isn't like anything I've seen before, and I forward this information to the lab specialists who are already investigating your case. I am a forensic scientist. This love with genetics is out of my pay grade. So you don't know of any way to change me back? At this point, Max, I'd say you're stuck as a girl until we catch the criminals who planted this trap. Modern science currently isn't able to explain what happened to you yet. This is still a brand new field and new things are being discovered every day, but I'd advise you to buy a few more bras and panties and buckle up for a long haul. This might just be permanent. What? No! I love doing the nose, it's fun. I can't stay as a girl forever. Oh, calm down. Being female isn't the end of the world. Every girl I know manages just fine. You'll get used to it eventually. Also, you got pretty fucking rocking ass boobs, you know? Uh, I'll probably take you a few months, but you'll be fine. It's not like it's a death sentence or anything. It's not like you're dying, you know? I don't want to get used to being a woman. I want to go back to being a guy. Then you better focus on catching those criminals. There's no way I'm going to give up and stay a girl for the rest of my life. I'm going to catch those bastards and force them to change me back. Being turned into a girl isn't going to slow me down. Those assholes won't get any get away with this. And I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. And I'm going to make their lives a living hell when I catch them. Believe it. That's the spirit. I might buy some more women's underpants. Just in case, though. I'm already starting to run out of clean ones. That's probably a good idea, Max. Like, pre pretty sure it is. Found out anything new? Nothing that will get me back to my normal, to normal any quicker. Well, there's plenty of paperwork here to take your mind off things. Take a seat. There's a hell of a lot to go through. Yay, gotta love sitting at your desk all day. Ooh-wee, I'm stuck as a girl and I have to do a bunch of boring paperwork. This is like the worst day ever. By the way, they're out of biscuits in the break room. God fucking damn it. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Woo! Lunch break! It's not lunchtime for another four minutes. Whatever, it's close enough. Where are you going for lunch? Hmm. I'm going to go purely for like 
this I'm gonna go pure fucking Victoria on this one. I mean, not Victoria. The fuck is her name? <laughs> I forgot her name! <laughs> this is Victoria, this is Holly, and this is Brad. I forgot her name. <laughs> fuck it. For some reason, I think I'll go to, to the park today. I like how she's like, I like, I like. Oh, I like how she's like, okay, let's do this. It's Amber. Oh, you're heading to the park, Max? Wait up, I'll come with you. I take it you feel like getting a little sunshine, too. Nope. I'm going for a bike ride. Gotta get that cardio up. Come on. I'll give you a lift on my bike. Modified it so that a passenger can stand on the back wheel. And, an, and the added weight will give me more of a workout. I think I'll just walk there. Yay. No way. You're coming with me. Ah! Oh shit. <laughs> it's like, no way. Phew, that was a workout. Why do you ride your bike so fast? That was insane! I used to complete and... If you thought that was fast, you should have seen me back in high school. I was a beast. You're kind of a beast now. Damn right I am. You should sign up to my running club. We call it the Whoopers, and we run from the docks to the lookout and back each morning. You can't rely on your natural strength you had as a guy anymore. So getting so getting your fitness up would be would do you good. I could help I can help train you to hold your own in a fight too, if you're interested. How early in the morning do you go for a run? We start at five AM. No. <laughs> That's not happening. Ever. It's really not that bad once you get out of bed. It's actually quite nice to be up at that time in the morning. Uh-huh. Sure it is. There's no way in hell I was going for a run at five in the morning. People who did that were not right in the head. Oh, that's, that's me talking. <laughs> Want some sausage rolls from the food cart over there, Max? Yes. Yes, I do. I'll get you two then. We get three. I didn't join Amber for her jog around the pond, but it was nice to sit outside in the sunshine for a bit. I spent most of my lunch breaks feeding the dogs and trying to run away from the horde of angry geese who were after my sausage rolls while I waited for Amber to get back. I'm going for a jog this evening after work. Feel free to join me if you're bored. Sorry, but I'm not really the sort of person who exercises for fun. Give me a call if you change your mind. I normally go for two jogs anyways. So, if you suddenly want to run out after dinner, you can come with me on my nighttime jog. I don't think that's going to happen. I just realized I probably shouldn't focus all my time on Max because then it doesn't give y'all any chance to like see the other characters or whatever. I still got some time to check my phone before lunch is over. I can call people now. Ooh wee! Ah, we're friends. Oh, wow. Let's go with Victoria. Victoria is pretty, pretty, pretty cute too. That's my game. Look at you with your energy all up and shit. There you go, washing up. Do. Do. Ow. Ow. Gotta level you up, buddy. Haha! -ha. Oh, yeah, you're tired. Okay, well that was fun. Right, back to work. I wonder what happens if I keep that thing alive. Right, back to work. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to do that every time, actually. Ugh, this never ends. You can't just go around shooting people in the spine with thousands of volts of electricity and not expect a little bit of paperwork. It's part of the territory. I know, but it's so boring and never ending. Hey, are you too free? We need some officers to run a speed check on the southern half of the Dendrite Highway. 
but all of the patrol staff are busy. Are you up for it? Sure. I wouldn't mind getting out of here for some fresh air. Hey, did that suspect I saw yesterday wake up from his coma yet? We woke. He woke up about an hour ago. It's a shame that the gun misfired the way it did because it's made things a whole lot more complicated for us. Sorry about that. Don't apologize. It wasn't your fault. Now, where did I leave my disco ball? I'm gonna fuck him in the ass. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna smack him. Who's your daddy and what does he do? LOL! <laughs> How fast was that one going? 95. Close. What about that one? 105. They're over, but not enough to make the charge stick. We might have to ignore that one. Yeah. Yeah, they just claim there's peril error of our own, of our, or our rear gun aren't configured properly. Properly. What a load of bullshit. Hold up, this car down on the left lane looks pretty beat up. There's no way that junker passed, passed Rigo. Fire up the siren, let's pull him over. Oh, I didn't know it was dot dot dot. Girl. Um, hello. Hey there. Do you know why we stopped you today? No. I wasn't speeding, that's for sure. You weren't, but we noticed something amiss about the back of your car. Okay, so the rear bumper is a bit crumpled, but because I backed into a wall last year, but it still works the same as normal. Mind if we have a closer look? I guess. Hmm. These rear tires look pretty blonde. Bald. Ba bald. If you tried to slam on the brakes with tires like that, you'd spin out of control. If you were unlucky, you could even kill someone. I'm not going to give you a fine, but we'll be issuing you a defective notice. You need to get those tires looked at by a mechanic before you hurt someone. Yeah, because I've totally got the money to pay for a mechanic. Fan fucking tastic. Have a nice day and stay safe. <laughs> uh huh. That's funny. Da 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 da. She had a cool tattoo. Looked pretty good. Maybe you should think about getting one. Yeah, because tattoos aren't permanent or anything. I'd still be there once. I turn back into a guy, and something tells me having pink flowers all up the right hand side of my body would exactly be impressing the ladies. Are you kidding? You look fabulous. Maybe you should get one then. Maybe I will. Whoa, did you see that bloke? He's flying. Fire up the siren. Uh -huh. Oi! Open your window! He's not responding. I've got my gun ready! This is the police. Roll down your window. Now! <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem? We're doing 140 in a 100 area. That's 40 kilometers an hour over the speed limit. We're driving like a bloody idiot. It's a miracle you didn't kill someone. I wasn't going that fast. Wait a minute. I recognize this dancing idiot from the other day. He wasn't one of the drug moms. He busted at the dude guard bus depot. So I got out on bail. I have every right to be on the highway. This isn't the mall, bitch. You can't just shoot me because you feel like it. Stop standing in such a ridiculous pose and talk to us normally. No, it's a free country. I can do what I want. You fucking pigs. Trying to tell me how to stand. Max, search the car. I think this bloke is under the influence. Excuse me, I'm clean as shit. While well, I've been drinking the smoothies, like, mate. I can smell the minx on your breath. And your eyes are bloodshot. If you're clean, then I'm a queen of England. Look what I found. Two full vials of minx. And there's an empty one under the seat. That's only well, that's only from glancing at the car. I bet there's more in there. That isn't mine. You're under arrest, buddy. Get in the car. 
Oh, fucking believable. Oh, I was hoping he would resist arrest so we can shoot him. <laughs> See? Today wasn't a complete bust. We actually got it to arrest someone. Why was that guy standing like that the whole time? Surely he hurt his back. I don't know. Well, our shift is over. I'm heading home. See you tomorrow, buddy. You. Well, it's Tuesday night. I could head to town and do some late night shopping, but I've already got some food left in the fridge, so I could be fine for another more days. For a few more days. Should I call someone to see if they're doing anything fun tonight? Well, let's grab my phone. Yes, we should definitely call someone like Victoria, let's call them. After we check out our game. Look at Jojo! Why is Jojo? It's dual. Now look at this shit. We need to clean that up. Yay! What if we duel again? What happens? Nothing. That just fills up. He's tired. Oh, he's tired! Okay, so we got ourselves some contacts. Okay, we can call Amber, Brad, or Victoria. I want to do Holly or Victoria. Hold up. Want me a penny here? Um, heads is Holly. Tails is Victoria. Heads, Holly, tells Victoria. Fuck, it fell on the floor. What is that? It's... Heads. I just forgot which one it was. Heads was Holly. I think. Yes. <laughs> God damn it, I forget voices all the time. Hey, Max. Oh, that's kind of what it was. Hey, Holly. Hey, Holly, what's up? Are you bored? You should totally come over here. I've got nothing to do while here by myself. What? Go to your house? I don't know if that's a good idea. I just bought a pack of frozen pizza rolls. There's too many for me to eat, to eat by myself. Guess I'll just throw them out. What a shame. Where's your house? I'll send the directions to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you woo the women. Woo the women. You just put a... F After this, um, we could quit the video. Stop the video here. I stopped the video after this encounter. It's worth it for the pizza rolls. Or I could just do it here. Whoa. Hey, Max. Why are you in your underpants? We're having a sleepover. Everyone wears pajamas for a sleepover. Get your clothes off, too. You need to get in the sleepover spirit. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. She really wants her to... She really wants to see her naked. Do you actually sleep like that, or are you just saying that so you can see my underpants? These are my PJs. Trust me. Hi, those are me. <laughs> uh, I don't believe you. If you want to cancel the sleepover and head home, then that's fine by me. I don't really want any of these pizza rolls anyways. I'm not stripping down to my underpants. Aww. So you said your hair resets itself every night, every eight hours or so. Yeah, pretty much. It seems to be a bit random when it's timing, but it seems to be on an eight-hour timer. Don't ask me why, though. This whole scenario doesn't make any sense at all. Stay right there. I've got something incredible planned. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's the dots. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. <clears throat> he just dyed her hair pink. Whoa, my hair is so pink. It's really pretty. I think I like it more than your blonde hair. I don't know if this will go over at work, Holly. It's cool and all, but if my hair color doesn't reset, then I'm going to get in trouble. Her skin kind of turned pink, too. I don't know if that's them being lazy and just, like, basically coloring her whole skin pink. <laughs> like, her, like, see, like, watch her. Oh, you can't see my cursor. Fuck. But like where her where the text box like ends, you can see her hand transitioning from like her pink 
Well, not like her pink, but like her peach skin color to like the pink skin color. All right. Don't worry. I had pink. I had a big talk with Captain Necker a few years back. He lets me wear my purple hair to work, and it's not like he can complain considering he's a cat person. I reckon police, all, police captains probably shouldn't have a fluffy tail when you really think about it. What color was your hair originally, Holly? It wasn't always purple, was it? Actually, I had black hair, but I have underwent a procedure at the Camarano Clinic to make it permanently purple. Sometimes I have to use hair dye on a few gray hairs here and there, but I'll have purple hair forever now. I like it a lot more. I'll, I, I think this place, like this universe is pretty cool because you can like basically get surgery to change anything like change your genetics basically is what this era of stuff is like you can change yourself to be a girl i mean you can do that now but you can biologically change yourself into a girl and you can biologically change your natural hair color to purple fucking get cat ears and all this other shit i think that's pretty cool i wonder if i wonder if we'll ever be getting to that era of technology in the future although not many people would probably enjoy it except us like weirdos <laughs> i can see why you like having bright colored hair so much i actually it looks pretty cool like this i don't know if i can be um arse dying it every morning though that took forever i wish my hair grew back magically every hour i try a new hairstyle every day for the heck of it you know what i'm gonna what you know what i'm going to do i'm going to go down to the road and buy a bunch of different colored hair dyes. So every time you come over, I can make your hair look different. Hold on. We're st we still don't know if hair color will reset or not. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We can change our hair color every night anyways. Ah, uh, uh, fuck, I'm sorry. You know, that actually might be kind of fun. These two characters' voices are almost exactly the same. Like, the only difference in them is I'm kind of, like, contorting my lips a little different, so it sounds a little different. But I don't know if it actually comes, like, resonates into the mic or whatever. You know what? You know, that actually might be kind of fun. I've always kind of wanted to try having red hair. Don't worry. I'll buy dozens of bucks. We can try anything. Everything. Heh. Let's not get too carried away. Max, pick any different from... Pick any duty from my collection and put it on. I'll go warm up those pizza rolls. Woo! Pizza rolls! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Surprisingly, spending an evening with Holly wasn't as torturous as I'd imagined it would be. Despite our outwardly bubbly appearance, Holly wasn't a complete idiot. And we spent the rest of the evening talking and watching movies. I did end up turning down Holly's invitation to spend the night, so after we finished watching our second movie, I made my way back home. Aw, lame. My hair isn't pink anymore. I was beginning to like that color. My hair was actually kind of annoying yesterday. It kept getting in the way all the time. And it's really heavy and hurts my neck a little bit. If I can't have a pink hair, then I might as well be short. Now, where did I put those scissors? Oh, fuck. She's gonna cut off her hair. I experienced a, fu a frustratingly long time cutting and sweeping up all the hair. I got changed into my uniform and made my way to work. Morning, Brad. Captain wants to see you. I'm not in trouble, am I? I'm only like two minutes late. It's not my fault. I couldn't find the park. I don't know what's about. Oh, wait, she didn't say the park. I couldn't find a park. Yeah, it's not fine. I couldn't find a park. Okay. I don't know what's about. He just told me to send you in when you arrive. Uh oh. I'm probably going to get another official warning. Best of luck, buddy. I had a feeling this wasn't going to end well. Max, take a seat. I can explain. I thought I left my car keys in my drawer, but I couldn't find them. There! So, I was looking all over the house for where I might have left them, but it turned out they had just fallen behind the drawer. And were there the whole time. And then when I was driving to work, some old woman was in front of me and she drove so slowly. It was super annoying. Then when I finally got to work, some jerk 
parked in his parked his bike in my parking spot. There's bike spots just ten meters away. Use those instead of stealing my space. Max, Max, I'm not worried about you coming to walk a few minutes later. You came in after hours the other day when you dropped off Jay Walford. So it's really so it's really not a problem. Oh. In fact, there's one reason I brought you into here today. Unfortunately, we had to let Jerry Lawford go free with our running. We found some minks on him, but it wasn't a commercial quantity. And there was this whole thing with you nearly killing him and everything. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Did we manage to get any information out of him, though? He's dealt with minks in the past, so he's got to have a supplier or know somebody further up the food chain. We have your gun to blame for that. We only had 12 for 24 hours to interrogate him, but he was unconscious for almost that entire period. We got nothing. We got nothing, Max. It's all your fault. You fucking can't. Oh, damn it. So let me guess. You want Brad and I to tell this guy and find his associates? Collect. But you won't be walking with blood. I won't be. Holly and Amber did an absolutely terrible job chopping down the jelly. Checking on Jane Blood didn't do much better than the afternoon earlier. I wasn't in plaza. Oh. You, on the other hand, managed to die to identify him while you were off duty, and your quick thinking resulted in arrest. Your gun map fiction was unfortunate, but that wasn't anything you could control. Because of that, brother's off the job. I've called in a specialist. I forgot that I was supposed to end it. Specialist? Ever met Ethan R. Oxley? He's a freelance detective we've worked with a few times in the past. I don't know who that is. Well, you'll meet him soon enough. He's on his way here now. So get to change and wait for him at your desk. Get changed? What's the thing you would tell to suspect Max? Where your civilians, civilians, or you'll stick out like a sore thumb. Alright, got it. Don't screw this up, Max. We've only got one shot at this. Why do we only have one shot? Can we follow this guy in any day? Hiring a private consultant is expensive, and I spent the rest of the budget on that new fish tank in the break room. They're so mesmerizing, no look at. I won't let you down, Captain. Good luck out there, Max. Okay, guys, that's the end of this. We can save it. And we could, uh... Alright, guys, I hope you comment, rate, subscribe, do all that cool shit. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, peace.